What's going on guys, Eli Tiller 42 here, and today I'm with a video of Sid Meier's Civilization. You can't quite see the name because uh, the recording's kind of weird and I can't fit the full screen in, but this is here, you got this. So, let me explain this game real quick before I hop into it. So, this is an empire building game. Here, hold on, give me a second, I'll be right back. Uh, one second. Okay, I just had to close my door. But anyways, this is the empire building game. So, here's how this works. Uh, you choose an empire. There's uh, Ahmad uh, Al-Mansur. Sorry if I get rid of, mess up some of these names. There's Alexander of Greece. There's Assyria. I'm just going to say the country. Asyk, Askia. I'm sorry. I, I don't exactly know all these. Attilia, August Caesar, Bismarck. Boudica, Casmer, Catherine, Darius, Ditto, Elizabeth, like all these great empires that existed in, that existed in this world, whether they're an empire today or if they ever were an empire or if they are an empire now. So like, see, we got China at the very bottom here. We can be China. Uh, where's Washington? You can be Washington, wherever he is. But yeah, so you pretty much just pick an empire, and each one of them has their own very different or nice uh, character or like like for example receives three gold and one culture for each trade route with a different civ or city state and like gain city state influence degrades at half no more rate they all have their very special thing and you can choose like what kind of um, uh, map you want to be on there's random uh, we're not going to do random the, it will, the game will randomly pick one of the maps for you to play, not Earth, and you'll be told what was, you will not be told to pick. There's continents, which are which is a randomly generated large amounts of land, just like our world. There is one big landscape, which is just a, where all all the empires are on it. There's Archipelago, which is a bunch of min, mini islands. Uh, Fractal, which is a bunch of island like continents that are very snaky and thin. And then there's Earth, and there's like a bunch of different maps that we're not going to get into. Oh shoot. Um, but anyways, I just thought it'd be really cool to play this game. So what we're going to do, we're going to make one big land mass. And we're going to do a tiny, small duel. Me versus the computer brain. That's all we're going to do for now. It's just going to be the first episode. See if you guys like it. It's going to be normal mode. I, I'm not really good at hard. I haven't passed it yet. And we're going to keep it standard. We'll probably we'll make it quick. No, standard, just so you guys are used to it when I actually do the theme. And we need to choose an empire that we want to be as. So, what I thought, since it's the first episode, I usually bet I am best with Egypt because he builds 20% production towards Wonder Construction. But I want to destroy my enemy fast. So what I think I'm going to do, what I think I'm going to do is the Shoshani. They're very powerful right away and they're very good at combat. They have Pathfinders, which are very good. These guys are very good for early combat, I guess you could say. But anyways, let's start this game. Yes. Blessings be upon you, wise and fearsome Chief Potkatelio. I'm sorry if I messed it up. Reverend leader of the Shoshan, of Shoshan people. As a young chieftain of the Shoshan, he rose the face of wave of enroaching American settlements across the western United States. Forced to defend the Shoshan and Shiro lands from a seemingly endless, uh, just pause the video if you want to read the rest of that. But anyways, let's go and play the game. Okay, so we have a settler here. And this is a Shoshani settler, and he's going to be our guy that starts a city. Uh, so, ah, oh crap, that's the bad part about this, uh, setup. Let me try to edit it a bit. Anyways. Yeah, okay, that's a bit better. So what we have here, we have the settle button over here. S found city. So now what that guy did is he found a city. He, the unit is gone, and we have our first ever city right here. The first city of the United um, Shoshani States of America, whatever. And this is our little army guy, our Pathfinder. And we can train more army units later, but he's our only one right now. So we're going to have him explore the land for us. So what we have is here, we have some salt which is a luxury resource. People like salt. And we got marble, which is another luxury resource. We got some more salt and a nice river along. Come in here. And we got some mountains here. That's going to be really cool. 
And it seems like we have the coast. The ocean coast. It's the coast. And we got pearls, too. Okay, that's always nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a monument. So this will produce culture for us, but it also takes away one gold per turn. So this produces two culture per turn, takes away one gold per turn. So as we see here, we have turns up here. Each turn, so next turn, which will be turn one, this will, in seven turns, this will be produced. So when this number turns seven, this will be produced. And it will and it'll take away one gold per turn. We're getting four per turn right now. And it'll produce two cultures. So instead of getting one, we'll get three. So let's build that. And I'll, and I'll tell you why culture is good later. And we need to choose a research. Once again, it takes turns. And I'll always go for pottery first. And I'll show you why later too. So now that we're all done, we have nothing else to do. We started out. Let's go to the game. And we have our score over here. You guys can't see the score. It doesn't really matter. We're getting, we need to find who we're versing. Ooh, we found the uh, Uluru. That's a natural wonder. It gives you a lot of faith. We also got copper. Ooh, ancient ruins. What did we get? Okay, we get to choose. Like, this is a special thing with the Shoshani. They get to choose their bonus. But normally, you get a random bonus when you come here. Convince the remaining population to join your cities. Use this contact. We're going to use this to enhance our culture. So that's going to give us 20. So now we just need one more culture. And I'll show you what it's good for. <coughs> so once we get the culture, we got 25 out of 25 culture. We get adopt a policy. And there's these many different policies. There's tradition, liberty, honor, PD, and a bunch of these other things we have to unlock. And so what we're going to do is we're going to adopt liberty first. Liberty is best for if civilizations who desire rapid expansion. Adopting liberty will provide one culture in every city and it also unlocks the building pyramids. So we're, uh, we're Shoshani, so we can build the pyramids now. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be a certain country to build a, uh, a certain wonder or a great uh, sculpture. So we can build the pyramids after we get this. So we're going to adopt that policy. And there's a bunch of different things in that policy I can show you later. Aha! So this is our enemy. We're doing a duel, so we're going to be versing Alexander of Greece. He's going to be our guy we're going to have to defeat. And that's, that might be hard because he was a weak empire in the real world, but then he just came back and destroyed Persia, which was a really powerful empire. So he might be a problem, but we're on normal mode, and I should win. So, okay. He has a warrior, a Greek warrior, and we have a Shoshani pathfinder. Okay, go find his empire. Uh, let's... Okay, what are we doing right now? We're make we're choosing pottery, yeah. Let's make another one of these Pathfinder guys to explore some more. And know what and know our surroundings better. Know our surroundings better. So there's his city. That's his capital. The star is the capital. And we have the same size capital right now. This is the population of our city. That's the population of his. Okay. So we finished researching pottery. Let's go for writing. And I'll show you why I chose writing and why I chose pottery and all that. But it'll make sense in the end. Okay, let me just try to adjust the camera a little bit better. Okay, you have met the city-state of Colombo. They are your first... You are the first great empire they have met, so they give you 30 gold. Oh, nice. Now we have 69, and we have a total of 3 coming in per turn. They're, mercy, they're mercantile which means they give me happiness if I become their ally, but they're hostile, which means they're hard to be.